Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Road. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to import your Cinti projects without getting that dull lighting. So the first thing I'm going to do is head over to my content of this Polygon Biometals pack, and I'm just going to migrate this over to my new third person project. So I'm going to right click on this, get my full path where the content is, and then I'm going to right click the content folder of the biomes pack, and I'll just simply paste in that file path up here and click select to migrate everything. And once that's done, I'm going to go to my, I'm going to go to my new project and open up my meadow folder maps and open up the meadows demo scene. And it's just going to compile the shaders really quick. And you'll notice that it's very orange and it has much harsher shadows. So this is how it's supposed to look like. It looks really pretty and illuminated. And this is how it looks after importing. And yeah, you can notice a huge difference going from this to this. And this is not what we're looking for. This looks way too harsh, uh, a bit too orange for my preference. And I want it to look exactly how I want to import it. So on the right, everything imported just fine, but this is a matter of the project settings. So we're going to go to edit and then go to project settings and we need to make some, a few changes here. So I'm just going to drag this tab out in its own window so we can actually just see um, the lighting change live. So I'm just going to expand this. And what you want to do first is go over to your engine and then go to the rendering tab down here. And first thing we need to do is I'm going to scroll down quite a bit. And for global illumination, I'm just going to turn off Lumen. Uh, it ruins my performance quite a bit, so I don't want that. And then for the reflection method, I'm going to change this from Lumen to screen space. And there is a little bit of a change, but don't worry, we are not done yet. And now under shadows, we're going to change shadow map method from virtual shadow maps to regular shadow maps. And you'll see it made quite a lot of difference here. And that's pretty much our biggest change that we need. But let's go ahead and scroll down and and you'll see this under default settings, we're going to see auto exposure. So we're going to uncheck that. And then for the local exposure highlight contrast, I'm going to change this to one. And then for the local exposure shadow contrast, I'll also change that to one. So it does look a little darker. I'm going to turn off motion blur. This is also a personal preference. I don't like motion blur. And then we need to go to, I'll scroll back up because I missed this software ray tracing section. I'm going to turn off generate mesh distance fields like so. And now from here, I can hit I can save, actually there's no save for this. I'm just gonna hit restart now and let's launch our project and make sure that it matches how this looks. So I'll just leave this up here, go back to my meadows scene and my shaders are compiled. And you'll see the scene is exactly how it looks in our polygon biomes meadow. This is our Cinti fresh project. And then this is the polygon biome and this is after and yeah. And that's pretty much how you fix up the lighting in your projects whenever you import some Cinti scene. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.